Today's meditation is a special transmission meant to harness the power and energy within today's solar eclipse portal. However, you don't have to necessarily be doing this meditation at any time around the eclipse because we're using this transmission itself to activate the energy for use at any time. In addition to the eclipse energy harnessed here, we are actually pulling the entire month of April through this portal, starting with the lunar eclipse in Libra energies that happened in late March, through this solar eclipse portal that's happening April 8th, and then pulling it even more forward to the Uranus-Jupiter conjunction that perfects on April 20th. All of these galactic energies are offering one of the strongest portals with which we can heal and move away anything that is blocking our highest quality of life. So this meditation is meant to accomplish a few things and may be a little bit lengthier than my average meditation. Because first we will go through our chakra system and identify areas where we can utilize the solar eclipse conjunction with Chiron to heal ancient wounding, trauma patterns, and other parts of our life where we could really use an extra bit of energy and push to get out of programs and patterns that have been limiting our life experience. From there, we will transition through the eclipse portal, including working with the Aries and ego energies to allow a passage through this portal in a way that truly empowers us. Finally, on the other side of the portal, we will connect and utilize the energies of the conjunction between Uranus and Jupiter to both let go and disintegrate any of the ancient woundings and traumas and patterns and programs that have held us back, but also expand upon the things that will increase our quality of life and expand upon helping us grow in ways that we are empowered to live our best lives. So I thank you so much for taking part in today's meditation. And I'm super grateful and honored and blessed to be able to guide you through this amazing energetic portal. Now sit back, relax, take a deep breath, and let's get started. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and releasing out through your mouth. As you breathe, Gently in through your nose. Feel the oxygen expand in your lungs. And then release out through your mouth. As you breathe in and allow the oxygen to expand. Imagine a ball of light in your chest expanding and contracting along with the breath. As you bring in the oxygen, focus on the gratitude that you have for being supported so effortlessly in life 
by the air and the earth and the water and fire all of the elements supporting your life on earth and supporting your transformation as you breathe in feel that ball of light that can look and resemble the sun expand bigger than your chest and wherever the ball of light expands to within your body and within your energy field imagine those muscles gently relaxing and imagine with every out breath the ball of light contract pulling with it gently any tension any blocks any areas of discomfort physical emotional allow it to flow out with your out breath breathing in again slowing down the breath relaxing the physical body as the ball of light grows bigger encompassing your shoulders and arms and fingers and your heart expanding down through your chest to your upper pelvis past your stomach and with the out breath contracting and relaxing and removing any blocks or tension any areas of discomfort and simply breathing them out as carbon dioxide as you support the circle of life with this process taking in the gifts from the universe processing them through your body and releasing back a gift that supports life breathe in this gratitude and relaxation breathe in this positive energy and allow it to expand now from your chest up your shoulders through your throat and mouth clearing out your mind of thoughts allowing your mind's eye to relax and surrender letting go of control and allowing the thoughts to simply pass through as they need and breathing that out knowing that with any distracting thoughts that may come through during this transmission all you need to do is breathe them out and refocus on the breath to return to the alignment within this process and transmission don't fight your thoughts just allow and give them permission to flow through you and out not getting blocked or stuck on any particular one and as we breathe in and allow the ball of light to shift down our pelvis and into our lower back down our legs and into our toes and back up and around our bodies any feelings that come up during this transmission also allow them to flow through you not attaching or judging any of them simply breathing through them and releasing with the out breath and now with the next in breath I want you to focus on the ball of light in your chest 
focus on is expanding to every part of your physical body, eliminating tension and continuing to relax the muscles as it spreads out further, encapsulating your body in a larger energy field of light centered in your chest but expanding limitlessly outward into the collective consciousness covering the top of your head and flowing upwards as far as you can see and as far as you can feel up towards the source of creation and then all around you as far out into the quantum field endlessly flowing yet also keeping you safe in this magnificent bubble of supportive light. And now see it moving down underneath you, around the earth, feeling the depth of connection you have to the earth and sending gratitude and love and seeing the light going even further beyond the earth until you and the light become one. You no longer see or feel the borders of your body. Your pure light. And you are here to release and upgrade the trajectory of this current life path in this perfect present moment. And now you may see and feel and call upon the support of your spirit team. You may call on your higher self. You may call on your ancestors. You may call on your spirit guides. You may call on the source of creation. Any energies that you would like or that you feel can assist in this process are called upon, although they are always present. Sending them gratitude in this moment and inviting them in to this transmission will help amplify the process and feel their energies surrounding you with love and support. They are in awe of you for taking part in this process, for your willingness to release. And they are here to support this process all the way through as they send you love and gratitude, expand the love and gratitude from your heart through the ball of light. Feel it all in unity as one. Now on the next deep breath, I want you to focus on your root chakra at the bottom of your spine. And you may see it as a ball of red energy circulating, not unlike the sun, but more red in color, feeling it expand and rotate and pulse at the base of your spine. Now one important thing to remember as you tune into your energy field is that this solar eclipse in Aries is happening exact to the minute as the conjunction with Chiron. Chiron is the the planet luminary 
of ancient wounding. It is where the energy of trauma from past lives, from karma, from other timelines enters and seeps into this timeline, but not to haunt you, but rather with the opportunity to clear it out. And currently with this eclipse energy conjunct exact, it is showing us that in these moments and with this energy, we have the power to let go and move through our ancient wounding, our most deeply embedded patterns so that we can live a higher quality of life, so that we can be empowered to choose ourselves, so that our self-worth is no longer based around fear, but rather choice, choice to live in our highest timeline. We are so grateful to be joined here together in unity right now in this moment with these supportive energies. So as you focus on your root chakra, I want you to feel how your root chakra connects down to the earth. Feel the ball of red energy Feel it transmit down from the base of your spine into the top of the earth, swirling past the crust of the earth, swirling down through the rock and the sediment, deeper down through ancient parts of our planet and down into the center of the earth where it connects with the iridescent ball of light that is Mother Gaia. Mother Gaia's supportive, abundant energy is always available to us. Feel her love and her abundance and her support flowing back up. Feel it flow effortlessly through the rock. Feel her love and support in creating a three-dimensional life of your choosing, guided not by trauma, guided not by karma, guided simply by your choice to be empowered with the fire of your heart space. You will feel this energy flowing up to you from the earth. And breathing in to your root chakra, I want you to imagine what you know the solar eclipse to look like. And I want you to picture your root chakra, that glowing ball of light, like the sun. And imagine the moon beginning to cross it and as it crosses it and becomes in totality, blocking out the light with a ring of red around it. I want you to visualize your karma and your ancient wounding and whatever it is that attaches you to trauma programming Imagine what life will be like when we can let that go. Visualize those timelines lovingly dissolving into the totality of this eclipse, surrounded by the fiery energy of Aries in conjunction with the healing power of Chiron, we may release our ancient woundings. We may release that which disempowers us to live our greatest earthly lives. Feel the support of the earth for this process. 
feel the support of spirit, feel your ancestors, feel the joy that they feel to also let go of this trauma because as we process this through our root chakras, we are also processing this through the quantum field. We are not just healing ourselves in this moment. We are eclipsing and healing all of the lifetimes before us, all within the collective consciousness. We are healing the ancient wounding of anybody who has felt the earth has held them back from greatness. As the moon continues to move on and pass out of totality, imagine a new life on the other side. Imagine a golden earth where we are working together in unity and as one. Send love and gratitude. Take a deep breath in as we move our awareness up into the sacral chakra. Now imagine the sacral chakra as an orange glowing ball of light. In this chakra is our feminine energy. And within the expansion, swirling orange energy of this chakra in our pelvis, connect with the free flowing nature of divine feminine energy, the energy of creation, the energy of receiving that life, which we had just cleared the root chakra for. We are now clearing out the pathway so we can receive that more deeply. And while in the energy of our sacral, bring to mind any themes, any patterns that have been showing themselves in your life, especially in emotional ways since the lunar eclipse two weeks ago. And as we imagine the sacral chakra being eclipsed, we are preparing to let go of anything that is out of balance with our highest quality of life. Anything that is blocking the free flowing feminine healing goddess energy gets to be eclipsed. If you are in the Chiron and Taurus generation, this clearing is especially magnified for you as Venus is the ruler of Taurus and the ruler of feminine energy. Allow anything that has blocked you from feeling safe in your feminine energy. Allow anything that has blocked your creativity or has kept your feminine energy small. Feel it move out with the eclipsing of this chakra and imagine the moon passing in to the frame of your sacral chakra, reaching closer to totality and allowing the release of these blocks, the release of these patterns, the release of anything that hasn't felt safe on this earth. Breathe it out and release effortlessly and gently feeling the earth energy through your root rising in support of your highest quality of life feeling the ring of orange light 
around the totality as we eclipse this chakra and allowing it to pass through and move on, taking with us any of these woundings, any of the karma, anything ancient that we have been holding on to out of patterning or out of fear. Allow it to move out with the moon and with your out breath, allowing the free flowing nature of your sacral to fill the space around you entirely and lovingly. And now breathe in and feel the energy rise into your solar plexus and your stomach and diaphragm. See the solar plexus as a yellow ball of light, probably closest visually to the sun. You feel the root energy and the sacral energy flowing up and unblocking any pathways. Allow feminine expression and safety and abundance. Allow this to flow to the solar plexus. And as you connect with this ball of yellow light in your solar plexus, connect to any way that your masculine energy has been working from fear, has not been living up to its truest divine masculine expression. Where have you been trying to overly control? Where have you been allowing the ego to take the wheel? Where have you been building in a way that's guided by fear of not having enough resources, by hoarding and not for the expression and safety of the feminine? Feel into that for a moment and connect with your divine masculine expression. The Chiron and Aries generation gets to especially heal this wounding now in this eclipse. Feel any ways in which your energy has been disempowered. Feel any way that you haven't been allowing surrender and trust and flow to balance your actions. Feel any way that you have not been following your heart-centered passion where you've let your energy be hijacked by fear, hijacked by expectations in society, hijacked by energy that isn't yours. And allow the moon to move across your solar plexus and eclipse all of that wounding with love and gratitude. Allow it to soften your ego and allow the divine masculine to be in awe of the divine feminine. And as this eclipse reaches totality in this chakra, see the ball of light blocked out by the moon, by the emotions. And see the ring of yellow light surrounding it. And feel the empowerment there to start creating a life based on what the feminine deserves to receive based on what our heart wants to build. The exact placement of this chakra between the heart and the sacral, guiding us, drawing up effortlessly the earth's support and energy. And as the moon continues on past totality, feel us let go of anything that's blocking us from creating the life which 
we deserve to receive and which we are empowered to create. Now take a deep breath and move your awareness up to your heart space, the green glowing ball of light, again connected to your emotional field, connected to any emotions that may have come up for you during the lunar eclipse. Feel in your heart space. Feel deeply anything that has been blocked by ancient wounding. Any way that you have not expressed your heart because you've been bound by societal constraints. Whether it be having to work for money, keeping you from following your passions. Whether it's been a relationship that you're in simply because you believe it's the best you can get. Let go and release any trauma patterns that live in your heart space. Any inner child trauma can be released right here, right now, as we eclipse your heart chakra with this energy. Use the Aries empowerment to create a new life based on the pure authenticity that lives within your heart space. And imagine your heart space connection as it connects to unity consciousness and through the quantum field and feel how you're healing and eclipsing of your heart expands out and heals your inner child and the inner child of everyone in the collective consciousness. That is the energy that is on offer here. So breathe in deeply as the moon eclipses your heart chakra and breathe out as it passes totality with the green ring of heart loving beautiful supportive energy beaming out through your energy field through the collective consciousness through the quantum field drawing up abundance drawing up freedom for your feminine drawing up empowerment of your masculine through your heart space Feel any emotions that come with this. And send gratitude out for this clearing of our hearts. Now move your awareness up into your throat chakra. And connect with any wounding that you have around authentic expression anything your heart hasn't been able to express out of fear or patterns or programming or ancestral wounding or trauma can be released. You get to be free. The Chiron and Gemini generation can connect and heal in a new depth of energy with this eclipse, allowing anywhere your voice has been quieted Anywhere where your thoughts have not been respected. Anywhere that information has been withheld from you. Especially in society or government or religion. Allow them all to be gently and lovingly eclipsed out and released. In support of your fullest and truest, most authentic heart-based expression. View this blue ball of light in your throat 
expanding and rotating as the moon eclipses it, as it reaches totality, seeing the blue ring of information, communication, and authenticity swirling and growing in power as you release the blocks and patterns and traumas, feeling authentic expression in support of your abundance, in support of feminine creative expression and safety, in support of masculine love and empowerment, in support of your inner child and your deepest passions. You are now free to express yourself and help heal others with your voice. You are providing such a great service to the collective in this moment. Feel into that as the moon eclipses the chakra and moves on, taking with it any blocks to this expression. Sending love and gratitude for the lessons brought along the way. Now focus on your third eye in the center of your forehead. See it as a purple glowing ball of light. And imagine your connection to information, your vision, both within your body and externally within the quantum field, being cleared. Anytime your mind has wandered and brought you back into the comfortable patterns of the past, we are ready to release and open up these pathways to receive greater guidance and clarity from our higher selves, from our spirit team, from our ancestors. We are rerouting these automated patterns and programs and disconnecting them opening our third eye widely with this eclipse. So allow the eclipse energy to move into your third eye, taking with it anything foggy, anything that has blocked your clarity. Feel it reach totality with a purple light surrounding your third eye and Visualize it looking like a purple eye in the center of your forehead. Imagine as it passes through totality, you are now filled with clarity and pathways to receive information that supports your highest timeline and your highest quality of life, that supports full abundance in 3D that supports feminine expression to its fullest extent, that supports masculine empowerment in support of love and inner child and freedom to express this, all being brought into your awareness and operating now from this pathway rather than from trauma, pain, and wounding, which we are letting go with this eclipse. Now imagine a ball of light above your head, pink, magenta, or indigo colors, translucent and iridescent. This ball may appear bigger than the chakras within your body. I want you to imagine not only your crown here, 
with your crown chakra, your soul star chakra, as well as the interstellar galactic gateway, all of your upper chakras connected in one big ball of light. And feel the support of your higher self. Feel all the support of the universe and all of the support of collective consciousness and letting go of the timelines and stories that have not been leading you to your highest timeline. It was all purposeful and part of the polarity of being human, so send it gratitude. And as we are centered on this gratitude, See the moon eclipsing this chakra, moving in and cleansing it, and releasing any attachments that we have per contract or per Akashic records or per karma. The time is now as it was documented that we get to choose follow our highest timeline right now in the perfect present moment. See the moon reach totality across this chakra. See the iridescent indigo, violet, pink ball of light surrounding this eclipse. Feel how supportive it is of this process. Feel the loving, purposeful energy. And know that what we are doing right now in this perfect present moment is exactly where we are supposed to be and everything we have experienced up until now. Although painful, although confusing, Although polarized, it was all part of our growth. And we now get to consciously choose to expand into our highest quality of life consciously. As the moon moves on from totality, feel the release of all of the karmic ancestral wounding and ties throughout all of your chakras. You may see them as veins or roots, or you may feel them as energies, sometimes uncomfortable, pulsing into various parts of your body. Sit with it for a moment and lovingly send gratitude to all of these lessons. Now imagine and connect with the giant ball of light that is our energy field collectively, individually, quantumly. See this ball of light as the ultimate sun. It includes all of our energy fields. It includes the threads of everything we are looking to heal. We are going to lovingly eclipse that as well. As you imagine the moon moving towards totality, I want you to focus some of your energy on your ego, the fiery Aries energy that surrounds the totality of this eclipse. And you may feel resistance in it because the ego's job is to keep us safe. And there is safety in following the patterns and programs of what we know. But we are lovingly going to release that and empower our ego to move forward into the unknown, into the portal that this eclipse has created for us. And we get to choose 
in an empowered way to walk through the portal. So imagine now in totality the moon blocking out the light of our egos. The moon forming a dark portal over our energy fields and see the portal now in the center of the darkness for the darkness represents the unknown and we are going to be empowered to let go of what we know and walk into the unknown in the pursuit of our highest timeline. Be with any parts of you that have emotions come up and lean into trust and surrender. Lean into love and gratitude as we slowly enter the portal in the center of the totality of the eclipse. Feel yourself move into the unknown. And as you move through the portal, see the cords of wounding that are connecting you to your old timelines. See them dissolving with love and purpose. You may see them turning to ash. You may see them dissolve into smoke. Or maybe you just feel lighter. Maybe you feel nostalgic or even a sadness as you let them go. Whatever is coming up for you in the beauty of this portal, it's okay. Follow through with your empowerment and your heart-centered love. Grab your inner child and tell her that we are safe. Tell him that this is part of the process that we came here to experience. And as you move through the portal, and you are now moving to the other side of the eclipse, See the movement of the moon out of totality wrap itself around the earth. See the darkness give way to light. And as this darkness covers the earth, forestly, just as our in-breath supports the cycle of life with the out-breath, Know and feel that the energy that we are leaving behind goes into the earth and is utilized and transformed into the very food with which we will feed our new dreams. It is being transformed and eclipsed into energy that supports our highest good. Now on the other side of this portal, you can still feel your connection to the earth like an umbilical cord, feeling the transformative nature of this energy feeling the support of Mother Earth. I want you to focus your attention on what it is you want to build and expand upon. As Uranus and Jupiter conjunct in the upcoming weeks, we get to focus on incoming energy that will both continue to release these patterns that we have just released through the eclipse portal but we also get to expand upon that which we want to build with empowerment we get to connect with our authentic heartfelt expression so focus in on that energy now 
what is it you are looking to expand in your life? What changes would help you live more authentically? What support do you need to follow your passions, to allow your feminine full creative expression and bigness? What needs to change so that your masculine can live empowered to protect and support your inner child, your feminine, and your greatest heartfelt life? What would it take to live the highest quality of life? What support do you need to manifest the highest level of abundance for you and for all in unity with the collective? You may feel some of these energies pulsing now through the umbilical cord connecting you through your root to the earth and back up. We now feel the support of these questions. Feel it pulsing lovingly up towards you. Feeling Aries, both empowered and surrendering to the unknown. Feeling the support of Jupiter and Uranus and expanding on and bringing in the changes that are necessary to create this transformation within your life now. And being humbled and accepting of whatever that is. We will no longer fight it. We will no longer be triggered and act reactively into our patterns of trauma and wounding. All of these energies now join together. Chiron, the lunar eclipse in Libra, the solar eclipse in Aries, Uranus and Jupiter, all of the supporting planets, the North Node, the South Node, the constellations all unified as this energy portal is extremely purposeful and important in our evolution and expansion. So take a moment to breathe that in. Take a moment to sit as we are moving through this eclipse portal in real time. Feel the loving support of the unknown. It will never give up on you, and it is always supporting your highest good. Feel now as the energies move through you, expand out to the collective consciousness, expand out to the quantum field, and with your next in-breath, collect these energies and bring them into your chest and into your heart, knowing that this process will be ongoing as the, we pass through the eclipse portal, as the energy continues to work on the quantum field, as we experience every perfect present moment along the way. Breathe in the love and support for this process. And as I count down from 10, we allow the portal to close behind us. And we allow the expanse of empowerment into the heart-led unfolding unknown to open up in front of us and stay within our heart and reprogram our mind and our physical body 
in every cell. Ten. Take a deep breath in, pulling at the corners of this limitless ball of energy that we are in, drawing in all of the healing, supportive energy that we just opened up and connected with. Nine, feeling it pull into your body as the eclipse moves through us. Eight, leaving behind within us smaller, actionable eclipses with every experience and awareness that we have in the coming days and weeks and months. We get to experience this over and over again. Seven, each time, allowing more conscious choices, allowing us to choose empowerment for our greatest good and our greatest timeline. Six, allowing flow into our life, allowing trust and expansion, and choosing growth rather than pain and trauma and pattern. Five, focus this in now to your chest, pulling the energy into your heart space and into every cell in your body. Four, feeling it building around the edges of your body, pulling into your specific energy field. Three, feeling all of your chakras surrounded by this energy. And a loving release and a loving expansion at the same time. Two, feel your breath come back into your body. Feel your lungs expand, sending healing quantum cells replenishing through your bloodstream and through your oxygen and being released through the out breath of one. Really focusing on that breath with love and gratitude. Being here in this moment with this energy. Sending so much gratitude to your physical body and to this earthly polarity experience. I love you and I'm grateful for you and when you're ready, you can open your eyes and know that we have walked through this eclipse portal in our energy field and unified together in unity consciousness. In love, we have impacted the quantum field of reality. And I urge you to drink lots of water, take good care of your body, and allow the flow of this energy, allow its expansiveness in pursuit of your highest quality of life. Open your eyes and let it flow into your 3D field. Let it flow because it won't stop. Much love, light, hugs, and healing in this eclipse portal.